Hey everybody, Sully Man here. So uh, in the previous video we learned how to create a new document and, and got a little taste of the, the artboard in the document, you know, the live canvas area. So I'm going to show you a little bit about artboards. Um, nothing too crazy, a uh, very versatile feature. Uh, I believe it started in Adobe Illustrator CS4 and above and it got some tweaks. It's uh, some pretty cool stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new document. And remember, run through this a few times. Get familiar with it. Uh, practice makes perfect. You know, I was the kid, like I said, three times each on my spelling words, burying them in my brain. So the more you practice, the better you're going to get at this. So uh, I highly suggest doing it a few times and just kind of getting to know it. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to name it New Doc. Um, I'm going to show you we're working with multiple artboards today. Um, so if you notice, with one artboard, all these options are grayed out. The second you bump it up to anything more than one, you're going to get some options here. Uh, so we'll just do two for today, but this essentially what these icons here is how you'd like um, the artboards to stack. So what this icon is showing, it's going to start left, create a new one on the right, and then start at the bottom with the third. Um, whereas this one, uh, if you're doing it um, gr the, the grid by columns, it'll be the first one's on top, second one's on bottom, third one on top, fourth one, so forth and so on. Or you can just have them move from left to right, move from left to right, or move uh, from up to down. So I'm going to go from left to right. Uh, you could set the spacing between the artboards if you want uh, to do that as well. I'm just going to put one inch here, um, and we're good. So uh, I'm going to leave everything else default. I'm not going to mess with the advanced. I'm just going to keep it letter size, units in inches, and all that, and it's good to go. So here's our two artboards. Uh, just like in the other video, like I said, uh, you know you can use the hand tool to move around. Uh, remember, when you hover over things, it'll let you know what the shortcut is. Get to know your shortcuts and use them all the time. The, the sooner you do, the better you'll be off. But uh, yeah, the hand you can move around or hit spacebar, and it will uh, show you show you that shortcut real quick. If I have a selection tool and just tap spacebar, it brings me to the hand. I can move things around. The second I release the spacebar, it actually brings me back to the tool. So get get to know the spacebar pretty well. I use that all the time. I probably use that more than anything. Uh, so anyway, so here's the two artboards. Um, and just keep in mind, you can always change the size of your document. You know, you can hop back in if you want to add a bleed. You can go ahead and do that. Um, when you do document setup, you can actually hit edit artboards. It'll bring you to the uh, artboard, uh, uh, artboard mode. Um, and you can see that the tool's active. That's the actual tool for our, the artboards. So here you can actually change posi the position of a specific artboard, like artboard one is active right now. Um, if I clicked on two, this one I could change position. So you can see the, the numbers are changing. So you can go in here and be precise about it if you'd like. You can also be precise about changing the size of the artboard. I'm gonna go ahead and type in, let's see, nine and a half, and we'll do 13 tall. So you can see that artboard changed. So you're not set, um, you know, one size for your artboards. You can change it, um, or you can just use the uh, drag tools and move the artboards around. Um, you can have artboards within artboards if you want to do that. Let me show you here. So what I'm doing here is actually holding down Shift and Alt, and then you can click and drag your artboard, and that'll be an artboard within an artboard. Um, so there, there's a lot of versatility, and you also have, within window, it might not be uh, within your panels, but you can uh, turn on artboards, and you can see here, it actually shows the artboards. You can click and drag to rearrange them. So what I'll show you here is, I'm going to drag some uh, objects in here. Resize them. So you can see now, uh, when you click on an artboard, that artboard's active. If I hit the artboard mode, you can see the label. It's artboard one. You can actually change the name, double click, and have it uh, squares. And right now, squares. I'm gonna go ahead and any if you select on any other tool besides the active artboard tool, it'll turn that tool off. So you're back to normal mode. So you can see that this artboard is the second artboard. I labeled it squares. You can actually change the order simply by just dragging it. And now you can see it's got the number one. Um, you can also e enter the artboard uh, dialog box, again, by clicking on that little icon to the left. And you can go in and change all that stuff there. Um, again, you can display um, you know, center marks, crosshairs, the video safe areas if you're doing video work. 
um, all that stuff there. So you can hit OK. Um, if you hop back into the artboard tool by uh, actually selecting the tool, you can do that from here as well. Uh, turning on those specific things, uh, going ahead and editing. So all these all these things are up in this optional menu up here, the stationary one. So you can turn this stuff off and on as you go. Uh, nothing too major, but yeah, you can set up your artboards and say this is something that you love. Um, you can also uh, save as a template. Just like I said uh, earlier, you can you can save documents that you use a lot. You know, if you have a specific way you like setting up your business cards, set them up. You know, just kind of get your artboards ready, how you set them up, and then when you're done, save as template, and then you can uh, reference that when you hit File, New from Template. Uh, you'll save it in whatever area you find that template and open it from that. So that's uh, the gist of the artboards, and uh, you know, it's fairly easy. Uh, go ahead and mess around, like I said. You have the panel where you can do stuff. Um, create new artboards by just uh, selecting down here, and you'll see. And you can move the order with this or dragging. You know, it's just it's very versatile. Uh, many different ways to skin this cat. So go ahead and mess around with it a little bit and get familiar with it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.